welcome to this class today we are going to balance this reaction this is sodium hydroxide this is chlorine this is sodium chloride and this is sodium hypochlorite right sodium hypochlorite clo is a polyatomic ion which is called hypochlorite ion this is water okay to balance this reaction at first we have to draw a table like this this is reactant site and this is product site so now we need to calculate the number of atoms from both sides so in the left hand side we have sodium that is one then here we have oxygen which is also one then we have here hydrogen that is also one then here we have chlorine that is two here we have sodium that is one then here we have chlorine here one then here we have sodium so let me add here more one sodium that gives me two then we have chlorine so let me add here that gives me two then we have oxygen one okay then we have here hydrogen that is two then here we have oxygen one more oxygen that is two look this sodium has come from two compounds here or here so okay so it is dip it, it it may create difficulty uh, to balance the sodium first look this oxygen has come from two compounds so same logic is applied for oxygen but this chlorine also has come from two compounds so to target to balance chlorine at first will create may may will may create problem may create problem right so target hydrogen at first to balance because hydrogen has come from only one compounds so here are two but here one so to balance the hydrogen what can i do i can multiply here by two that gives me two the rules is that if you multiply by something that something must come before that atom this hydrogen has come from here so let me put here two if you place here two the number of sodium will be two the number of oxygen will be two so let me update the number of oxygen and okay hydrogen chlorine so number of sodium two two all is already balanced then oxygen 2 2 so oxygen is balanced hydrogen 2 2 hydrogen is balanced and chlorine 2 2 so chlorine is balanced so everything is balanced you can say that this is the balanced reaction at last you can change this arrow sign by equal sign for balanced equation chemical equation right so thank you for being this video be well